I do a lot of travel vlogs and videos on my YouTube channel and people are always asking me what about Houston because I'm from Houston, I've grown up here, still live here. People are always wondering what's there to do, where's there to go, what's there to eat in Houston. And I know I don't give my hometown enough love and so John and I decided to do a series on our hometown of Houston and uh, we started with this video that you're about to see but we actually held off on releasing it because we filmed it a while ago but then this whole uh, Hurricane Harvey stuff happened and I just didn't feel like it was the right time to release the video. Uh, Houston is a great town to live in. People are friendly here. It is now the most, uh, most diverse city in the nation with uh, all different uh, races across the board equal. Um, so it's a great city with a lot of great food and it's kind of a hidden gem and under the radar. So I wanted to feature Houston uh, and let you all know that there's still a lot of work to be done in Houston after Harvey. Thanks to all of the, especially the first responders and all of the people who came or donated from afar to help out our town, there's still a long way to go. So if you feel inclined to help uh, financially, you can click on the link below to uh, help the Hurricane Harvey relief. So thanks in advance for helping our city, uh, helping to rebuild our city. But here it is, it's our uh, take on Houston. Enjoy. So where are we going today? We're going to tour NASA. I've been before at the, the Johnson Space Center in Houston, or down in Clear Lake, I guess, but we're getting a private tour today with some access to slightly restricted areas. I have no idea what to expect. Yeah, we've always wanted to do like a Houston series of, you know, places we like to eat. Things to do things to if do. you're visiting. And NASA is definitely like, kind of like an iconic, place for Houston um, so a good way to start off our Houston series with NASA ground control to major Tom ground control to major Tom lock your Soyuz hatch and put your helmet on Okay, we're here at NASA, getting a tour by uh, our friend's brother who actually works here. Um, NASA is huge. It's a door on your left, okay? Right on time. Everyone, this is Aliska. This is John. Hi, nice Hi to John, meet you. Aliska. Hi, Christine, Hi, Christine. Hi, Christine. Hi, Aliska. Nice to meet you. Awesome. I'm excited. What we're going to be looking at is basically this is the mock ups of the International Space Station, and then we have a one mock up of the shuttle left. We do have access to that today as well. And then on the very end is a robotics section. Ground control to major time. All right, so this is the space station. <laughs> space station. The so, this is the Japanese module of the International Space Station. Detach from station and may God's love be with you. So how do you feel, see? Are you ready to go to space? I don't know. It's got a lot of preparation. This is ground control to Major Tom. We have special VIP access while the tourists up there stay back there and we get to have access here. We can actually touch it. So it's, watch out for your shins, okay? It's like a giant cylindrical yeah, yeah, yeah. thing and you're gonna sit on it. Hold on. So, so, don't tell her that now. <laughs> what the heck? Alright, we are in the space station. Space shuttle. Space shuttle. shuttle. Does not fly anymore. It's like little cones for ants. <laughs> <laughs> so basically what those cones are for, this is where the seats are going to be. So you're going to have three oh. people oh. sitting at the bottom, four people and sitting just stare up above. Over here or here? Yep, then they get the lovely view of the lockers. <laughs> While they're but what a ride, right? I mean, pretty sweet 
going into space, I would say. And then your airlock is right here. So this is how it would be attached to the space station. And the papers want to know whose shirts you wear. This is your pillow, essentially. And it's like a big Snuggie. So your arms, your, do you want to get in it? Yes. <laughs> I was just using a Snuggie today. Okay, hang on, let me get your... Then if you really want to be fly like, put your head back, you would have this strap. Oh, I need that for the plane. Right onto the pillow. And then you would... <laughs> <laughs> but this goes down like this? No, no, no. no. It's on, your on your forehead. Oh, forehead just to so kind of keep yeah. your head. Probably needs to be adjusted. Yeah, tighter. There you go. Baby <laughs> brains. Is this fashionable, Teresa? <laughs> yeah. 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 So what would happen is right here is where you would put your food packet with the septum and there's a needle back behind there. You would push that in so the needle would um, puncture the septum and then on the package it would tell you how much water you would dial in how much you need oh, push hot or cold that would go that's cool and then you would squish it all up in the bag then if you needed to heat it up some more right below that i call it the easy bake oven because that's kind of what it looks like it has a little rack and it's a food warmer though so you can put your packet in there mm -hmm. hold it down it's a spring loaded gosh <laughs> John just asked, there's, yeah, a, there's like a curtain oh. that kind of comes across and there's a curtain that would be up above. But yeah, you're in, on here with seven people. So y'all were asking about, you know, in the Japanese mom, you were like, six people live in this? Seven people lived in this. <laughs> so... <laughs> and the poop, this one, the poop would, would go down and then it would get spun so that the liquid would be separated from the poop and then the poop would come back home and the pee could be disposed. I mean, it's a big hole. It is a big hole, it's the but size it of your feels, fist. like if you feel the seat, it's, it's very, oh man, I can't believe you it's touched weird. That. Nobody's really, <laughs> can't believe it. And it has like little stirrups, like you're getting a gyno checkup. Yeah, almost. <laughs> The, so everybody would have their own connection, and then oh. you would, it was oh, like a cup, a cup. Yeah, on space station they don't. That's where you pee into. Oh, right but there. am I supposed to? Oh, yeah. yeah you're gonna hold on to the ladder. Four. Okay. Don't hit my head here, right? And yes. there's a thing on the left shoulder area. Yeah. Chair. There you go. Right. Can I sit in here? Yes. Yes, please do. So cool. And if you want, Christine will get you in the other seat. This is major time to cry. So that's a panel that has buttons and on then it. I just do you it. can put your foot on the on seat. That? Yep. Oh, and then you have a control right between your legs. Oh, yeah. There's an abort button. Job. Abort button? <laughs> Eject. <laughs> what happens when you press that? So you can sit here, and then in front of us, there's like windows, and people are looking at giant TV screens with so stuff on it. Yeah. yeah. So this what do you see on the screen? So, okay, this is the coolest part of the tour. In us, we We're in mission control. Yeah. We don't need to go to Iceland anymore. <laughs> That's a live feed from the space station and you can see the northern lights up there okay that was mission control steps down
on our way to the old mission control. This is the historic oh, wow. mission control room. <laughs> are we infected now? No, are you guys gonna reenact? <laughs> Uh, what do people actually do? Um, so you can actually, they, these are the original stations that... Are these the monitors? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh my god, they were so tiny then, huh? Uh-huh. You can push the buttons. There, there's actually, um, let me see here. Are there ashtrays? When's the last time you heard that? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what do you think about our NASA tour? It's good. It's interesting. I learned I learned that I learned I know nothing about <laughs> space. Yeah. Oh man. Hey. Hey, there you go. What's up man? It's our other friend. Oh well, man. It's raining really hard. Alright, we're gonna go. Oh my god, it started to rain harder. Yeah, it's gonna be one step, okay? It's the best way to get behind it. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta. Greeny. It's cold. The tour is good. Alright, I think that ends our tour at NASA. Oh, we did too.